Uh, this is a video intended for Roger, Lauren and Beck. Just driving home from a big four star short at Great Meadow on Donald. Um, obviously this is a, a huge test for him. It was a, a step up to the very, very top of the sport and um, Donald did really well. Um, the, the, the dressage you're seeing here is on, on, on Friday and uh, it's the first time he's sort of been through this FEI four star test. As you see as the test goes on, it was pretty green in a few of the movements, like the flying changes and the can half pass, but all in all, he's a, a very, very good horse on the flat. Um, we scored a 32, which it's not the greatest score, but the reality is that I think that's the worst score he'll ever get at this level. Like, he uh, can only improve from here. I was sort of more just, well, in all three phases, just sort of wanted to get through get through each phase unscathed so I sort of didn't go full blast in the dressage here I just sort of tried to tippy toe through all the movements without any kerfuffle it was seriously hot for all three days and old Donald uh, he doesn't like the hot weather too much being a European Um, like I said before, I was really, really pleased with him. Um, my, my main goal for this whole event was just to get a, a qualifying score. And, you know, we were up against some of the very, very best horses in the country. Um, and this was his sort of first time at the level. So even though we, we didn't score a, a placing or up with the leaders or whatnot, we, you know, we were competing against horses that are represented America at World Championships and placed at Kentucky Five Star, so he's really with the, the big boys. The show jumping course is really big. Um, you'll see it in a second. Um, he had two poles down, which is a little bit unusual for him. Um, Obviously, I'd been in Tokyo for five weeks or away for a bit, and I had uh, my Irish show, show jumping guy Oliver McCarthy come and jump him a couple of times for me. And then Silver did a bit of the dressage work, and then my assistant rider Mike did a bit of fitness and the flat work on him. So, um, by saying that, we, I had three weeks to get ready for this. I had a really, really good jump score with Peter Wild. Just before we can. Um, on the cross country, unfortunately, we didn't get much of the cross country. It was a, it was an epic course. It was a beautiful footing, a great going, um, and there was some really, really tough, comb you know, combination fences. Uh, this was for sure the biggest cross-country course and the most technical course that um, Donald had seen and he delivered he was uh, he was really really good there was uh, actually the last water jump I do think uh, my groom Steph videoed it um, there was a skinny in the water and um, I had a run out earlier in the day on another horse there and uh, Donald jumped it really good and I got him to a pretty awkward spot and he, uh, he still took off Donald's had a little bit of a sore splint leading up to this competition. Uh, I had it checked a couple of times by the vet. Um, I think he's knocked himself or, or my vet thinks he might have been cast in the stable. Um, so when you sort of push your push down onto the bone, he um, hurts him a little bit. But we sort of checked it again just before we went and... Um, we felt like there was no risk in, in running him, especially considering that I was going to run him a little slow around the course. 18th place currently on 32.5. So this is our uh, show jumping round. Now the first rail I take full responsibility. I came around the corner like a, a wild man to the triple bar. 
you know, galloped it like it was a steeplechase fence, and he just clipped it behind. And then he did. Um, he had a Liverpool fence down, which he, he uh, got a little bit spooky at and looked down to. So in the back of my mind, I know that he can still be a little naughty on a left turn in the show jumping. So I probably got up him a bit too much and clunk. Uh, so yeah, that one was my fault, guys. I think the next fence is a Liverpool and felt like I got there the Liverpool was sort of set behind the fence a bit and McDonald just sort of looked down into it and just clipped it there unfortunately um, saying that I think he's a really really good show jumper so um, I'm very very confident in this phase you know when we get to the important championship type events um, I'm very, very confident in um, getting a clear round on him. Uh, I think he pulled up well from this run. So uh, my next, so he's qualified for the four-star three-day event, hopefully at Morven Park. Um, the next event I'd like to take him at is the advance that try on in three weeks' time. I think it's perfect timing, and uh, it'd be slightly easier than what he did here. There's a couple of kids screaming out for me. Um, so try on advance, and if that goes well, we'll take him to Morven Park. And I think at Morv at, at try on in a couple of weeks, we uh, I'll uh, ride him a little quicker around the cross country and try and give him a bit of a blast and be and try and try and be very very competitive on him. I'll be able to get a few more gallops into him. In the next three weeks too, we've had a lot of rain here, so the footing's really, really good. And saying that, he's a great galloper, and out of all my horses, he actually pulled up pretty, pretty well. But I was sort of just coasting around. So this is, I think, towards the end of the course. The uh, water jump that caused the most trouble. You got right underneath that. I should have gone on one less stride. Anyway, guys, I I can't tell you how uh, pumped up I am about this guy. I do think he's a big time horse. And the girls that work for me love him. They uh, are besotted by him. Feeding him donuts. He's not going to be much of an athlete like that. 